Robert Gill here. For those of you who have Apex units, you know that Apex Fusion is about to be released and it's just around the corner. Apex have, has just come out with a brand new firmware update which will be required for you to be able to access Apex Fusion. The new firmware is 4.31 underscore 1E14. This video I'm going to show you how to do an update on your Apex unit using Windows based operating systems. You can definitely update your system with a Mac computer but I don't have Mac, I've never used it so this is going to be strictly for Windows only. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to do the Apex update on Google Chrome uh, web browser. So the first thing we want to do is we want to ensure that our computer is going to be hardwired to your modem and that the Apex unit is also hardwired to the modem. In other words, you can't do any of this wirelessly. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and restart our computer and I'm going to put it in safe mode with networking. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, during the reboot process what you want to do is you want to tap continuously F8, keep tapping it and then you'll get a screen where you have the option to put it into safe mode. Ignore that F1. Just keep tapping F8. And now we're in the uh, screen mode here. Use the arrow key to go down to safe mode with networking. And then hit enter. And basically what this is doing is alleviating the requirement to shut off your firewalls and all that. It's just an easier way to do it for me anyways because I don't know how to get into my firewalls and shut it down. So we'll go ahead and let it boot up. Okay, now we're here in safe mode. You can see all the icons are extra large. That's normal. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is open up a Chrome web browser. I'm going to go to the Apex website. And then once on the Apex website, we're going to go to support and then click on firmware updates. We're going to go to Apex firmware updates and click on here for PC and Mac. And then you can see here Apex Fusion is not yet available but will be required will require this firmware when it is. And then the instructions are all right there. We're going to go all the way to the bottom here. And since we're using a Windows PC, we'll click the option for that. Go down the corner here and open it up. We're going to open up and then extract. We're going to extract all. We're going to hit extract again. And now this window opens up. We're going to open up the folder. We're going to go to Apex Flash Utility again and click on that. And this time we're going to hit run. And now it recognized my Apex and it popped up the IP address for my Apex. What you want to do is ensure that the username and your password is correct here. And then you're going to hit update firmware. And then in this step you're going to wait a little while for all the updates to be uploaded. You can see there's 116 of them and we're just about there so I'm going to just scroll up and I have 116 of 116 successful so that step is complete. Now what I want to do here is we're going to hit update web pages.
Okay, once that's done, I'm going to minimize this screen here, and I'm going to go back to the Chrome web browser, and I'm going to go to the right-hand corner up here where the lines are at, click the drop-down menu there, we're going to go to History, we're going to click uh, Clear Brow Browsing Data, and then right here in this drop down we want to make sure it's the beginning of time and we're going to click browsing history download history cookies and other site plugin data cache images and files all those will be clicked and then go over to the bottom here and click clear browsing data once you're on your apex dashboard you're going to go to configuration and go to network setup and double click that once on network settings, you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says Aqua Controller version and to the right of that, it'll show you the firmware that you're running on your Apex unit. Here you can see that the update did work and I am running the most current version firmware for the Apex unit, which will allow me to access the Apex Fusion. For those of you running an Apex unit, I hope you found this video useful. Like I said, this firmware update will be required for you to be able to access the new platform by Apex, Apex Fusion. I'm particularly excited about being able to wirelessly control and remotely control my, A my AI Vega color lights from anywhere around the world with the AWM module that I'll be purchasing shortly after Apex Fusion is released. For those of you who are new to my channel, I highly recommend that you subscribe and check out my previous videos. Many of my videos are geared, to those, geared towards those who are thinking about getting into the hobby and for those of you who are new to the hobby. So be sure to check out my videos and my channel and subscribe. That'll conclude the video. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.